Hey guys, King and Bung here again. <clears throat> yeah, I have a little cold. But today, I'm going to be talking about tips and tricks for Wizards 101. Now, my first tip is always put your shields first over offensive spells. When you're making your deck, make sure you have all your shields first. Like, when I make my deck, <clears throat> you'll see. Like, I put all these right here first. I put them, these, and my minion but make sure you put them, your healing spells, make sure you have all of them first before you put your offensive spells on there. My second tip. <clears throat> Don't always go with what has the most health. Okay? Make sure you look at your other bonuses when you equip stuff. Okay? Like, mine, yeah, I usually have like the most health. Like, right here. The one on the right has a lot more health. But the one on the left... I like them bonuses better because it'll give me more power boost chains, increase the accuracy, all that. Same with their pets. Just because it looks cool doesn't mean it always has the best for you. Okay. <clears throat> My second tip. Make sure your secondary school is compatible with your primary. I kind of forgot that. Because I originally did have life and then I switched it over to my death school because I figured, oh, life and death. Opposites attract. Well, they kind of know. They both heal you, and yet, no, no offensive. But this one, I have no idea why I chose ice. Mainly, my biggest reason is because I had that. I wanted more shields so I can protect myself, but then I realized, oh crap, life can heal you. So yeah, that kind of went out the window. Number three, your quests. If I can find mine. I skip over everything that doesn't get me to the next chapter. I basically rush myself through all the worlds, get to where I kind of want to be, where I can't really go any farther until I need a higher level, and then I go back and do all the side quests in each world. That will get you where you need to be, go as far as you can go, the fastest. And, like you should know, the farther you go, <clears throat> the more XP you get for each quest. So I kind of try to rush myself and then hope that my spells will shield me and heal me enough that I can kind of sort of make it. Number four, what I'm doing right now. Don't start off attacking. Shield yourself, build up your pips, and then go for attacking. And always kill the weakest one first. Okay? I can't stress that enough. People go after the boss, like, oh yeah, if I kill the boss, well, well, the mission will be done. No. Go after the weakest one first, get that one out of the way so you're not taking hits from two at the same time. Okay? Number five, I th hope. Don't be afraid to discard. Okay? If you don't have the spell you want and you want, like, more shields because your current shields ran out. Okay, I'm going to go back to number four for a second. Make sure you always have a shield on you not always but if, if if possible make sure you always have one on you it will save your life more than you think like right now okay now i'm going back to number five discard the spells you don't think you need right now okay i discard over half my spells in a duel yeah it kind of screws me over sometimes in the end but i have treasure cards to back me up if i run out of offensive spells never ever discard shields you need or healing spells Never. Unless you're absolutely sure you can win without them. I've learned that the hard way. <clears throat> I was looking for a spell one time, and I'm like, oh yeah, I don't really need my healing spells right now, blah, blah, blah. I'll do just fine. I ended up dying, because I didn't listen to my own rule. Never discard healing spells and shields that can help you. Like, right now, I could probably discard my fire and lightning spells. But I can't discard my death ones because he's still death. Remembering that in the end, it'll save you life. Okay. And I can't stress, make sure your primary and secondary are compatible. Alright. And by that I mean, if you're myth like me, do life or death. Okay? And if you're fire, do ice or lightning. Them are the compatible ones. Ravenwood set up like that on purpose. Because 
just trust me on it. I can't really explain it, but like Ravenwood, if you split that right down the middle, there's balance, and then there's death, life, and myth on one side, lightning, fire, and storm on the other side. Well, ice too, but if you're going to choose ice, not even then. No, never choose ice. Never, ever, ever choose ice. Ever. It's not worth it. Just try to take my advice on that. Your primary schools that you'd want to be is lightning, fire, myth, or life. Those are your four primary schools that you'd want to be. I'm not sure about balance. I've never, I've never looked at balance in a serious way. Okay, I just think it's there for the people that just want to mess around and have fun. I don't take that school seriously at all. Just try to remember that. It'll save your life someday in Wizards. If you listen to my advice, you should do just fine.